Undefeated flyweight prospect Muhammad Mokave has lofty aspirations. Namely, he's chasing John Jones' record as the youngest champion in UFC history, a feat, Bones, achieved at 23 years of age, about four months prior to turning 24, by smashing Mauricio Rua in 2011. Mokave, whose own 24th birthday is in July, has just over a month to surpass Jones, which feels impossible given the simple fact that Pontoya isn't booked to fight one month from now. However, the 23-year-old wrestler has won five straight fights to start his UFC career, steadily advancing into the flyweight top 10, and if it's any silver lining, he may be closer to a title shot than many expect. Mostly because flyweight is a mess and there's nobody else. However, as a result of that chaos, his matchup this weekend, sat. March 2, 2024, at UFC Vegas 87 against former title challenger Alex Perez is suddenly a lot more interesting. Brandon Roybal, I think he has, a torn, ACL, Mokave explained, be a junkie. Brandon Moreno is 0-3 against Pontoya. Brandon, Roybal is 0-2 against Pontoya. Manal Cape is probably going to have one more fight because he didn't make weight last time. Amir, Albazi is injured. Kai Kara France has a concussion because when I asked to fight him, Mick Maynard, said he's got a concussion, and he won't be able to fight. Now, I'm the only challenger, but I have to beat Alex Perez in an impressive way. Alexander Pontoya is targeting his second title defense at UFC 301 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil on May 4, 2024. Though that's technically too late to break Jones' record, Mokave is more than willing to step up on a fairly quick rebound from this weekend to fight for the belt at UFC 301. That's 10 weeks from March 2, I already counted, Mokave said. I'm ready. Like I said, I have big experience in amateur career, so I can fight every weekend. According to a recent interview with Guillermo Cruz, Pontoya is open to the matchup as well. Of course, Alex Perez may have something to say about these plans, so the first victory on Saturday night remains fully necessary if this unexpected title shot is to materialize. Ricky Tercios says that Raul Rosas Jr. declined to have their bout rebooked for this weekend at UFC Vegas 87.